Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new edition of Art Chart. Um, this is uh, episode three or four, I can't even remember. This is episode four. Wow, that went fast. Uh, I want to thank everybody, even if you are live or if you are watching this later on on YouTube, uh, I want to thank you for uh, being here with us or um, taking the time and watching this clip. Thanks, uh, and, and it's so important that uh, that we are giving you the kind of information that, that you're enjoying, so we do appreciate the feedback. Um, by the way, just a couple of housekeeping things, uh, everything that we're showing here is for sale. Uh, we are also, uh, whether you want to go and buy it on our webpage or you can contact us, everything is for sale. Uh, if they're just kind of a housekeeping thing, if there was a rush, could happen. Uh, we would take the first person who contacted us. So I just wanted to say that from the beginning, need not buy, just enjoy the art and talking about art. But uh, if you are interested, if something speaks to you, everything is for sale. I, I really want to uh, uh, mention that uh, every sale that we make out of our artworks are very important for us. It let us grow and expand and become more creative in a way. Um, and we appreciate anything you do for us. Um, and we need you, the collectors. Marvelous. What's new? What's what's how how's our week been? I am go I'm going to switch quickly to uh, the share screen because I have a slideshow going on. I well, this week, you know. this week um, we already we work every day of the week. Um, this oh, is wait, a small yeah. business thing, and um, uh, last Saturday we were heading toward the studio for more work, and they told us that actually it would be better not to just because. Uh, um they were uh, they had a private event and the building is kind of the parking lot is kind of busy and uh, we were in the car and i told john i said you know what why don't we turn the car and stop straight to brennan uh, just to relax a bit and ener get some energy get the, the 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 spring feeling and um get some um ideas and some inspirations of on the road God, it's been so long since we've been anywhere. So the thing on the screen is uh, some of the lovely mural art that's there in uh, Brenham. And they have a real commitment to art in the community, uh, and the, uh, which is and lovely. The, and the murals are just fabulous. Anyway, so saying that, um, I got to um, do some photography as well. And... Um, Finally, I came up with these three pieces that are displayed now on the screen that will go toward the Americana series we actually, I actually talked about um, in the last episode. It's a lovely series. I think those are really great pictures. And it's just amazing how this stuff is all around you and, and you they, don't necessarily uh, notice it. Uh, they, they come in various sizes. If you want a larger size than 14 by 21, uh, please do get in touch with me. We, I can work another 20 by 30 inch uh, sort of prints. Magnificent. Uh, moving on, uh, I have another surprise this week. Um, I had a mention from uh, uh, Saxon Stone Age Gallery on Instagram. Actually, um, uh, the, the account is called The Nine, which uh, this is the group who found actually the gallery. And they are uh, um, nine members of Photography Lovers. And um, they were getting ready for the annual international photography competition. And they thought uh, to mention one of uh, their pics from last year. And this is uh, uh, one of my uh, image. So they, they included you last year in the, in the show. Right, and yes. They, they're still I, using your stuff for, for marketing. Right, I applied for their show last year and we, I, I've been, this, this photograph have been selected. And um, this year they, they want to show, um, you know, they want to promote their uh, international uh, photography open call again. And they thought this would be a great image to start with. Sounds great. Congratulations, yeah. Thank you. Anyway, um, another piece of news is we're going to have a group exhibition here in Silver Street Studios in Houston, uh, starting soon, March 26th, and goes all the way to May 8th. 
uh, and uh, on the skin are my submissions for this exhibition and this cognition and drift on the left side um, those are special prints they are on plexiglass this time um, it's one of a kind edition i never did plexiglass before but i thought this would be a great um idea to try and certainly Static. Yes, they, they have a, a certain depth to them. They yeah. are printed on not just the plexiglass, but it's a UV, wool, uh, UV plexiglass, which means you don't see the reflections of the light um, hurting your eyes. And the illumination is uh, from the same, same series synopsis, and, but this one is 26 by 26 inch printed on canvas. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're going to... Uh, have time to come by and visit this exhibition. Uh, John, you want to talk about yours? Yeah, I have three pieces as well in the exhibition. Um, uh, Atutaki is the one on the top left, and, and that is one from the Cartographic Distraction series that I mentioned, I think, last time. So this is one on paper, 9 by 12. Uh, mm -hmm. It's mixed media. And so that's in the, in the show. For my fire series, I have Fire Break, the red mm -hmm. one below. And uh, that's an acrylic, uh, uh, 16 by 20. Mm -hmm. And uh, then drums is actually uh, on paper. It's a mixed media as well. It's from my, my newest series, the, the one called Dreamland. And it is actually a depiction of what I think the sound of drum beats looks like. Uh, so it's part of that, that growing collection. Uh, it's really fabulous. And it's, it looks a gorgeous framed uh, all these pieces are framed. Yeah, all of them are framed and in, in, in for sale. Mm -hmm. And then you have something else going on. Yes, uh, my NFT uh, exhibition has started. It started last weekend. And that is the one where it's uh, 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 digital files are sold virtually uh, for cryptocurrency. It's, it's an amazing and confusing process. But uh, uh, Stefan Van Quick in his uh, Artist of Being Poor group that I'm in in Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, he's hosting this particular exhibition and he's gathered together 50 artists who all did some sort of picture of pineapple with the theme of pineapple. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is Pineapple Head. And the exhibition started, the, uh, they are selling in, the, the currency is Ethereum mm -hmm. and they are selling, uh, already two artists have sold. Uh, 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 great job, y'all. Um, what is the $175? Like, what does that mean? The Ethereum? That's the, uh, the coinage used to purchase. Uh, there are different ones. There's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, there's some other ones. I don't even know what they're called. Mm -hmm. But that's the actual currency that people spend. So these are priced in Ethereum and 0 0.1 Ethereum turns out right now to be about $175. That changes like the stock market. Those, those numbers move around. The second thing I wanted to talk about is in my residency program in Mexico City, uh, I have finished our art lab project finished last night. Uh, these are the four works that, that I did for that 10 week project. Uh, and they are complete. The, uh, you know, complete, you know, I'll probably still mess with them, but they're complete for the art project. And I just want to show, I've got one I brought in behind me just to show you the scale because it's, it's hard to imagine. These are really big honking pictures. Uh, so you can see they're about six feet tall. Uh, that is remarkable. So what would be, that is a, a religion uh, image in a way, right? Yes, what, what I, all of the, uh, the entire series is, is based on archetypal images of religious belief, not necessarily of religion, mm -hmm. but of this kind of emotional uh, connection we have with images that, that uh, are religious. So this particular one is, is motherhood, mm -hmm. uh, is, is a theme. It, I, I, know that you, a I know that you live in Romania for several years. Is that <laughs> a, an uh, inspired from the Orthodox uh, right. Iconography. This particular depiction of Mary and Jesus actually was taken from the Egyptians. Uh, so it, it's, it's a, a, an absolute theft of an image of Isis uh, on her throne mm -hmm. with Osiris 
uh, on her lap. Isis is the throne of, of Osiris as Jesus is to Mary. So uh, that, that image was taken directly from the, the current religion at the time in Egypt was very strong in, in the cult of Isis. Uh, and so that, that became a, a very strong orthodox depiction of Mary as well. All right, moving forward, um, the first uh, image uh, feature I want to feature today, it's called um, Equinox, it is um, from a series, the same series called Synopsis that um, I talked about in previous episodes of our chat. Um, and I thought it's a great idea to, to, to feature it now because it's spring and the nights are, you know, uh, uh, equal with the days. And I, I thought this is perfect time. And, um, you know, the, the, the whole series has to do with memories and dreams and not only mine, but it's, um, you may need to help me a little more here. Uh, it's on, you can make your own um, dreams uh, as you look at this image, your own interpretation. I, not think that's, uh, I think that's so cool in, in, these particular, in this particular series, how you weave together all kinds of elements to create something that is suggestive, mm -hmm. but not, it, it doesn't define. So, so I could see something very different maybe than what somebody else would see. I see dancers dancing under the stars in a wood. Mm -hmm. uh, that may not be what you see. It's actually, and, and they are all, to, to, to make this picture happen, there are several images combined together. There are uh, trees that I, uh, you know, uh, photograph some time ago in the forest. There is an actually equinox dance that a, a, a photograph um, I, I snapped several years ago while I, when I was living in California, there was actually a, a small group of dancers who invited me, you know, to take part of their small performance for the Equinox. I think it's called the Equinox Dance. And um, I thought, what a great idea to put this play, these, these elements together. And of course, I needed more uh, connection uh, and this is when the digital hand drawing came, came in place. I needed some um, motion and I needed some wave, some, uh, uh, how do you call that, um, resonating waves um, to, to make the, to bring some sound and some movement together. It's lovely, absolutely stunning. And this in particular one, it's, you know, uh, it's not a large print. It can be large, but it's 14 by 14 uh, right now. And I have the, the photos right here near me, if you can give me a chance to show it. It is a beautiful. Stunning, stunning work. It's a 20 by 20 frame and 14 by 14 inch print. Moving forward, uh, the next two pieces I have are from um, street photography series that I've done in Russia some time ago, and let me let me turn on the um, presentation. God, street photography in Russia was just it never ended. There was so much to see. Uh, it, it's so much to to see every every corner is something. There is something to photograph at every second, wherever you turn. And here is the teamwork on the left and the iron kernel on the right. Um, both these. Um, uh, places uh, happens in Red Square. And um, the, the image on the left, they're workers getting ready for a, a show. And they are so balanced. They probably have done this so many times. They're like performing for, for, for me. And um, on the right, Iron Curtain, it's the St. Basil Church taken from Goom uh, Shop to, the, <laughs> to some shades. And I thought, what an inspiring, actually, uh, image. So um, this is how uh, these images were uh, taken. Those are small images. They're both printed on cotton rug uh, paper. Uh, they're 10 by 10 inch. And I think they're, you know, um, if you love uh, street photography, 
I think this would be very good in a uh, office environment or even a hallway. They, they are not that big. Uh, here they are, you know. And, and classic black and white photography is, is always classic black and white and the, the, the blacks are very deep uh, and they print very well in this type of paper. It's very porous, very like watercolor in a way. Mm -hmm. So this is what I have for today's edition. Uh, remember, everything is for sale. So if you like any of these pieces, get in touch with me or visit my website. Uh, I'm happy to, to talk with you. Now, John, you want to talk about your pieces? Yes, I have a couple of pieces I wanted to talk about today. The first is one I did a couple of years ago. Uh, it is called Golden Dawn. I have it here. Uh, you can see why it's called golden. It's quite shiny. Just a uh, second. It's a, can, you, can you show us again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to move it so you can see it in the light. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, it's all done with metallics, uh, oh. all, all uh, um, acrylic. But it's a mixed media because I, the very base of the painting, uh, I covered the entire canvas with one inch squares uh, cut out of a Latin textbook. Let me show a detail of it. I have it. Yeah, you can see it up close. And those, uh, those squares then became the base that I painted on. And so they, they peek through the, the painting. You can see them just underneath kind of literally a subtext. Uh, I used, again, we, we talked about some of the other paintings I did on this, this kind of paper, that uh, I chose Latin because I didn't want anyone to be able to really read it. <laughs> uh, and so that it, it wouldn't imply that there's any importance to the language, just that, there's a, that it is based on written language. Uh, alphabet writing is very, very uh, important in my art, and it will come through very often. So... And it's a way, uh, a way of uh, recycling old books, right? Well, yeah. I mean, as a librarian, you don't want to tear up books, but this one was literally falling apart. So I figured it was a fair game. The, uh, when, when it's held up to, it, it, it gives the impression almost of a mosaic, uh -huh. the way it catches the light, those, those squares. And, uh, and then, of course, there's a, a metallic acrylic on top. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite pieces, and it's, uh, I think the way it hangs on the wall does not feature uh, the depth that's in the painting. Mm. Uh, it's really important to me in my work, very often, particularly in larger pieces, as you get closer, you will see something else. Mm -hmm. Very often when you get close to a painting, it's really ugly. <laughs> you can see the detail is just blurry until you get back enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, want, I, I would like people who live with a piece of art when they're close to it, I would still like there to be something for them to appreciate. So that's the reason I, I kind of add some small detail to and much. And what I like about it is the more you look at it day by day by day, you, you see more elements, more intriguing things. You know, you, you make your own story in a way. And the light, the, the way the light plays off, it changes the painting throughout the day, which is typical of, of many paintings. The other one I wanted to talk about is a, actually a mono print done. Uh, this one is called Plak, which is uh, um, Polish for square. Uh, I did several in the series. They all, they all have that name, uh, square in some other language. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually uh, mixed media. I started with a, with a black ink that I, I kind of mark the page. And then I just started layering uh, color again and again and again with squares. And in this case, they were post-it notes. And I would take the post-it notes, I would arrange them, I would lay down a color, move them, lay down another color, and just really built up the, the layers. Uh, it's very, very beautiful. I'm very happy. And it's, it's a lovely process. Uh, the mono printing I really enjoy. It's not mm -hmm. done with a press. You do it by hand. Uh, and so each one is each, each one is unique. You're not going to get a second print out of them. Uh, so they're, it's just they're they're all original. They're several I see, in the series. I see. I see. It's coming with a frame. But uh, if somebody likes a bigger uh, frame, it can be matted. Oh, yeah. and, and, and do a larger scale. And I have some other examples here. Oh, um, those are beautiful. Yes. 
of are the they, same style. Are they all um, display on your website? They're all on the website. Yeah, they should be. And the, uh, when, when I finished the process with the, uh, with the post-it notes, I was so impressed with what the post-it notes looked like when I was finished. I actually just framed them. I thought they were lovely. Uh, this is one of my favorites, really actually. Lovely. And that's just the four post-it notes I used to create the. I the think that the the funny part is uh, you had some others in this uh, style, and uh, uh -huh. I I had it here in my studio to mat them or to frame them. I can't remember. And there were some people visiting my studio, and they bought your piece. Yeah, well, good. <laughs> and I've they, returned the favor. I've had are, some things here. They are here, really, so. really nice. And they're, I really encourage everybody to check your website and take a look at them. They're very, they're, very different. Different. They're, they're lovely. And I just love the process. You know, it's, it's fun to make. Um, so those are the, the, the two pieces I wanted to share. Uh, we've still got about 10 minutes here. What's next on our list? Next week we are, well, as of tomorrow, we're starting the new exhibition uh, here at Silver Street. Uh, the, um, The exhibition is just tenants here at the building. So it's, it's called The Artists of Silver Street. It will be up until, I think you mentioned until um, May. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I, I found out just yesterday was that I have been uh, uh, given a display room. We have a special gallery here at Silver Street that is just going to be used for the artists. And they've told me that I can uh, have my own exhibition in July. So this is my first solo exhibition. Yay. Hopefully you guys can make it. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, which mm -hmm. collection I'm going to, to feature. Uh, but, is there going to uh, be a collection or a, a mix of uh, idea? Don't, don't know yet. It, it's, it's that new. I just found out yesterday. Because it's, it, in addition to getting the, the workup is, is also the, the invitations and the catering and, and the other things that you have to do for the opening. So it's, it's only three months away, which sounds like a long time, but it's not a long time. So uh, I was hoping for later in the fall, but uh, when they said July, I said, you bet I'll take it. Um, I'm, so I'm very honored to be able to do is, that. Is that uh, like a first of July or a date in July? Uh, it, it will run in the entire month. So I'll have the, from the first of July to the end of July. So, guys, put this in your agenda. July yes. 1st, July 30th or 31st? I can't remember. I think July has 30. Whatever. Maybe it's 31. The the 31st, month. I think. Book that. Um, book a trip to Silver Street Studios and um, come. But come to the reception. There'll be food. John's uh, uh, exhibition. Now, um, I know that this is um, March 25th. And the studios at Silver Street Studios uh, don't have a uh, um, an event for a long time. When is the next open event? It's in. Uh, oh no, we have a. That's we we do in April. We have the biennial, which is the, uh, oh, obviously yes. done twice a yes. year. That's yes. why they call it biennial. So we have a big open day. It's an evening event, actually, and all of the studios and all of the buildings are open, mm -hmm. and they will have street vendors and they, food and uh, uh, things to drink and all the studios will be open. So it's usually a, quite a big deal. The last one was kind of sad because of COVID, but I believe things are, are starting to pick up again. And it's a big building. You can social distance, wear your mask if you need to, and, uh, and still stay safe. It, it should be a really good time. And that is the 24th of April. Mm -hmm. So just next month, about a, a, a month from today. However, meanwhile, you can always, always visit us. We are in the mm -hmm. studio most of the time. Um, and the gallery is actually open Monday to Saturday, 10 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And right. um, there is a lot to see. Uh, the, 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 the gallery is massive, so you can have... Uh, not only a, an, a, a, a good art walk, but a physical walk as well. So you can <laughs> yes, get, get your exercise. Your fitness just walking in the gallery. Yes. 
And, and if you come during the week, obviously you don't have the crowds, so you have a lot more room to, and time to spend with the art without a lot of interruptions. So I guess this is what we have to report this week. We want to thank you for being here or for watching us on YouTube or whatever social media platform. Um, and I want to, th- we're going to thank you for um, supporting us becoming uh, better artists. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Bye.